stop posting on the front end and stop doing stuff on the front end for a good four weeks just to focus on the back end. You are wasting time. People are just preying on these problems that coaches think they have. Focus on those two fucking things, the content and the coaching. In this video, we are going to talk to you about um, the perfect CRM, um, back end systems, um, and automations. Oh, just at the floor. No, the table with my foot there. Good start. Didn't hey guys, with Anna Mike from Business and Banter, That's formerly awesome. Biceps and Banter. I just say business far too quickly then. Business and When you banter. say business quickly, it comes out Northern Irish. Business. Business. Just real quick. Yeah, um, not copying anyone. Yeah, no, no, definitely not. We're here to help you with your online fitness business. Anyway, we can. Um, today, we're going to talk about how CRMs and backends can save you. Lol. <gasps> join the members group. Said backend. Yeah, join the members group. There's loads of funnels and shit in there. Um, Look at that. You know, when you watch these YouTube videos back, right, you know which one's been filmed first. The ones that are filmed first, we leave the, <laughs> the, CTA, the CTA right to the end. We forget. Yeah. Then we get a little bit better on the second one, and yeah. it's a little bit sooner. And then we realise what we should have been doing. And then we just do the CTA there at the beginning. So join the members group. Make sure you join the members group. Like do it, it now. share it, subscribe it, whatever. Do all of that. We've stuff. given you about eight CTAs there when we should only give you one at a time, but yeah. do all eight. We should have set it up. Like, are you struggling? Like yeah. getting, in, um, <laughs> getting well qualified leads to your business, not really knowing what content you should be making and how to target your niche. Well, we cover all of that in our members group. And the link's below. It's only £99. There you go. That's how you do a CTA. So. That's it. There's a CTA. Perfect. Um, so today we're going to talk about whether you need. Oh, CRM, a back end, a website, a funnel, and all this sort of jazz. Because again, we're seeing this crop up now. Um, people are basically um, stopping doing all the work on the front end of their business to work on the back end because it's the back end that's the problem. It's not the front end, it's the back end that's the problem. So stop posting on the front end and stop doing stuff on the front end for a good four weeks just to focus on the back end to then go back to the front end and realize that the front end was actually the problem in the first place. That's what we're doing these days, apparently. Um, I love that. I've been doing a lot of work on the back end. Yeah, what you what? mean by that is doing work, work. What you mean by that is doing work that's easier for you to do, that isn't on social media, that is safer and easier, and actually is not anywhere outside your comfort zone. That's what you mean, really. I'm doing stuff that I think is going to help, but it's stuff that I know actually doesn't make a fucking difference. I don't difference even understand what they mean by I'm doing stuff on the back end. It's just, it's just anything that is like... A hidden away that you can that, that counts as work but isn't actually work it's that it's that I feel like I've been working it's basically a way to go I feel like I've been working for four weeks and go okay great what have you got to show for it well I've got a really nice website and I've got a real good link tree yeah. and I've got a real good lead magnet okay have you got any leads on it not yet right does it matter then? Does it actually matter then? No. Again, it comes back to the same thing that we're talking about throughout all these videos we've kind of filmed in this one batch today. has been this people are just preying on these problems that coaches think they have. When we are literally telling you the problem that you have is that your content isn't good enough, you're not sharing enough of your own personality, and you're not hardworking and consistent enough on the front end of your social media. That's what we say. But no one wants to hear that bit, right? So then you've got everyone else saying it's because your website and your back end and your automation and your CRM and your funnel is all wrong. And you go, I don't have any of that. So it must be that. When I sit here and go, we don't have any of that. We do not have any of that. <laughs> and we're sat here with a business that, again, I don't want to go into specifics, but like does all right, to be honest. And like, I just sit there and I go, yes, you need a lead magnet, but you don't need to call it a funnel. You just need a lead magnet that's fucking good, right? You don't need a CRM. You need a Google Drive with folders of your clients' names on it. That's a CRM. And it's always from people that are trying to save you time. From what? You've got 10 clients. It's not even a day's work. What? Why are you trying to save so much time? You know, like, it's just, I don't, like, it, it honestly baffles me. It's what so are you funny. trying to save? What is so busy in your fucking day when you've got 15 clients? We are the ones, right? Again, I don't want to be all this like, we're this, we're that, right? With over... You are there. Yeah, but I'm going to do it. Yeah. What have we got? 250 in a members group. What have Jake and Jake got? They've got 120. What's that? Maths, quick maths. Two fi like, what, 250 and 120? I can't do what maths, it? isn't it? It's Three. nearly 500 people. No, it's not. It's 370. In our business. 250 and 120, 370. Yeah, and then I was adding up my clients. Yeah, oh, you said that. 500 in yeah. the business. Over. Total. Why is he filming me? Over. <laughs> right. It's good on Instagram. We've got 500 people in our business, and we don't have a CRM. <laughs> 500 people. We've just got four human beings. Ooh, <laughs> they Ooh. calculate this. Ooh, he's a bit ranty. I'm a bit ranty. It just annoys me. It's like you're sold this dream. Coming to you live. From you're the sold the dream, studio. guys, all right? This is good This is good behind-the-scenes content. This is what yeah, you should be doing more of. Um, 
And like you're being sold this stuff and it's like, it's it's basically trying to sell you a solution to a problem that you don't have. He's not saying anything. <laughs> He's not making really any point. Really off-putting that is. Um, yeah, basically it's like, it's trying to sell you a solution to a problem you just do not have. You do not have a problem, but you think you do. You're trying to create a problem when actually the problem is staring you right in front of you and it's your Instagram and it's your content, it's your social media. You just would rather not do that because it's harder. And you're going with these, oh, it's my back end, that's the problem, that's why it doesn't work. And now Mike's going to talk, because he's just finished filming me. There you go, that'll be all right. It's all right, you might sure have seen that clip. You might um, probably saw that first. There you go. Um, teaser, so <laughs> tea time. But but I genuinely think if you were... I was talking. You were, I'm, I jumped in. If you yeah. genuinely sit there and ask yourself that question and go... Saying that without my lips moving on. <laughs> am, I, am I just doing this to... To almost delay the hard work. Am I just saying this stuff because I'm really actually just delaying the hard work? Because I think nine times out of ten that's what happens. That's what I would have said. Yeah. Uh, if you ask me, I am asking. I ask so. you. Yeah, I'm asking you. Um, <laughs> ask I mean, Mike about his sirens. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with Dan. I agree with all that. Now, what gets me is that I'll, I'll, I'll do check-ins with certain clients or whatever. And it'll be like, yeah, I've not really uh, been posting consistently, you know, all, but I've been, wor I've been working on uh, um, doing this and doing that and onboarding and um, I've, ch I've changed I've changed everything around. I'm just like, you are wasting time. The end goal of your business is to get more clients. What gets you more clients? Being more present on social media, showing more results, looking after your clients better. It's not the content management system that you have. It's not you having a list of names and you see who's gone to the next stage and who's booked to call, who... Like, Trolley board, eh? all about trolley like, these days. You know? Like the, these systems are for companies that have got thousands of customers. This is how mm -hmm. big companies will track their leads, right? Where it is such an inordinate amount of work to be able to keep up with lead flow and to see where people are at different stages of their business. You've got 16 clients. Like you're getting two inquiries a week. How can you not manage that? I don't under I, I literally do not understand. So you spend all of this time and it looks fancy. Oh, you, you mentioned Google Sheets. Google Sheets don't look that good. Right? And what has that got to do with anything? And my point is this is that sometimes I'll get this from clients where I'll be like, Yeah, I've changed on board and you, you know, like I know what you're saying and yours are quite straightforward and stuff, but you know, I just want to give a little bit more and I want it to look a little bit more professional. And you're like, Yeah, but you're still here though, aren't you? You're still like so is it about the is it about those systems and that onboarding? Are you missing the woods for the trees? You're still here a year mm -hmm. later, aren't you? So is it actually about the product? And you should stop worrying about all the front, uh, the, the back end stuff and worry about the front end stuff, the client facing work, and then the, the lead facing work on social media. Those two things you should get really good at. You should know how to retain your clients the best that you can, and you should know how to generate clients the best that you can. So content and coaching, those two things that you should really, really hone in on. In content, it should be making these specific things that are personally branded, that are consistent, that you know how to write perfect copy, that you know how to persuade using calls to actions, that you get people opening your emails, that you've got a really solid gold lead magnet, like those things in terms of content, wicked. Coaching, that you're, that you're um, conversing with your clients on a regular basis, that you've got the perfect system set up for them, that you're not fitting them into an exact structure, that you're f fluid, malleable, that there's compromising coaching, that you're future pacing, that you're building bonds and relationships, and you're retaining clients for a year plus. F do everything that you can to focus on those two elements of business and forget about every fucking thing else. Just do everything you can to upskill in those two areas. Forget about a content management system. Forget about automations. Forget about fucking uh, link trees and websites. Forget about it. You've got a website. We don't fucking use it. It's, it's called Biceps and Banter. Like, it's not even our fucking business name. It's got fat stuff. Uh, is it still there? Yeah, it's still got fat stuff all over it. still got fat stuff on it. <laughs> like, <laughs> right? We've never used it. Well, you know, SEO in that. What do you mean SEO in that? What, what do you mean SEO in that? You can't get clients from Instagram. SEO in that. Uh, now you've convinced me. Oh, oh, you should have said SEO in that. <laughs> there you go. Like, stop talking about things you don't know about, right? We've got, like, as Dan just tried to count up, 550 to 600 clients in the business. I said 500, didn't I? So. Just add it. Just add some 500 more. isn't 550 to 600, though, <laughs> is it? So, you know, hope you don't run this place like that. Yeah. Um, nearly, nearly 600. Now he's ranting. Um, like, so, we've, how, I don't understand how we can have all of that, but, but you can't manage yeah. 16, never mind 600. 
I, I, I just don't understand it. You have, a, you, yeah. have a, you have a personal inbox and a general inbox, or whatever they're fucking called, right, on, on, on Instagram. So everybody that's in my personal are friends, family, and clients, and everybody that's in my general is somebody that's not a client yet, probably online coaches. That's it. Like, that, that, that's the system. I, I, should, should, could we have something that follows up more with people? Maybe we could. Do we need it? No. Why? Because we focus on those two fucking things, the content and the coaching. Ooh. Ooh. Trade secrets. <laughs> Same time. <laughs> The thing I, I, I get with this is the whole like, oh, but how do you keep a track of people? Like, how do you know who's checked in or not? Well, I know if I've got a fucking video of them or not that week. I know, how, if, I've, I know if I've seen their face. Tell me, nobody said, how do you know if they've checked in? So, you know, like with Trello boards that people have, like they have these Trello boards whereby if someone checks in, they basically move to a certain column and they have like red, yellow and, and green on like if they've checked in this week or not. Sounds like a lot, lot of effort. It's, do, you know what, do you know what I've got? I've got a Google Drive whereby I label them green, yellow or red. On mine as well. And it literally is the case, if I go into the Google Drive on that day, because I've labeled them, Tuesday clients, they're all there. Wednesday clients, they're all there. Thursday clients, they're all there. And I go into the folders and I go, right, I've had an email off them. No, yes, no, whatever it might be. All right, updates in there. Cool, it's up there. So I know by the end of the day, I've got seven green and I've got two yellow because they're the ones that haven't checked in yet. And I've got one red because they're on holiday. Perfect, there we go. I don't even do that. There's your system. If you really needed one, there's your system. You can literally do it on labels on your Mac. You can literally do it like on there. Really fucking straightforward and easy. But I literally go through my client list that week and I go, right, have I booked a call in with these people? They booked a call in. If they haven't booked a call in on Thursday evening, I text them. Hey, everything all right? Everything going okay? What's wrong with that as a CRM? What's wrong with using WhatsApp for what it's fucking designed for? Message that person that you've not spoke to that week. And you'll know because you've got a client list of, again, 16 people, as we've established, not 600, that you'll know where they're at. Like, it, it, it just baffles me that, again, you're being sold a solution to a problem that doesn't exist, that someone else is creating and telling you you've got a problem with, and you don't have a problem with it. You really don't. Like, if you're in a position where you're missing the odd lead here and there on Instagram, Trust me, you'll be that busy that that's the reason you miss it. Like we do occasionally, you might miss someone we didn't follow up with. Okay, no big deal. If you've got 16 clients, there is no way on this earth that you're going to miss out on a lead like that because you've got all the time in the world to make sure you're checking Instagram. I, I just I just cannot get my head around it. It, it, it baffles me that, that coaches think that that's the stuff they need to work on. Um, because again, it's probably more professional. That's how most businesses would do it. Yeah, that's how Apple might do it because they've got fucking multi-billion trillion dollar business coaches are obsessed about having things that look professional without actually having professional coaching behind it it's bizarre yeah. in terms of my check-ins this is what i do for my check-ins it's gonna blow your mind Revolu insight. Re Re insight now. Re revolutionary yeah so do you know stickies on your uh on your home screen so i have a sticky at the side there and i write down all the names of the clients I've not got manually today. you don't do it manually you don't write names manually Surely you don't. Yeah. Surely it gets pulled from the back end somehow. Yeah, it, it's automated, yeah. Automated it comes and it drags their first name and their email address and stuff. Do you know like what I mean? Quicker, you just type Mark. Yeah. It's just a bit quicker, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah. that's what I do. Matthew, Mark, Mark <laughs> Luke and John, um, <laughs> disciples. Um, that's that's all there on the sticky. And I go, check-ins, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John and Judas and whatever, you know, Mary of my Judas didn't do it. We didn't do it. Never checking in. It's gone somewhere um, else. It's gone yeah, to a different coach. <laughs> different coach. Um, anyway, they're all there. And then I work, I work through and I do Matthews. Okay. Any email? Any WhatsApp? Yeah, cool. I w watch his video, watch it. Just delete, just delete Matthew off it. What, manually? Yeah, just, not manually. Just, just do that one. Delete button. How, how many is it? How many letters? Uh, <laughs> just seven. Seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. Do it all myself. Not even a VA is doing this. Do it all myself with that, that index finger. Look yeah. at that. Does all that work. The ease off. Then I go down and it's oh, Luke. Luke's next. Oh, Luke, Luke hasn't. Do you know what I do with that? Highlight Luke's name and I press Command and and, and C. That's okay. automated right there. Command and C. Yeah, I don't, I don't copy that. I, I ain't right clicking. <laughs> well, that's for, that, that's too that's too complicated. So Command C, and then I've got a little a little thing on it on a, on another sticky, and it says late, and I Command V in there, and now Luke's on the late list. Now you stop giving them the hacks, right? And then I go down to John, and J John John has checked in, so then I watch John's yeah, like, yeah. and then I delete John and. That's it. It's it's really it's really complex. <laughs> you know, it's called a it's called a list. Yeah. You know those things that people used to write. You know, with pen and paper. It's just called a list, and then you go through it and you cross it off. You know, because you've done it, you just cross it off, and that's it. You, the other thing as well, I find with this is that I genuinely think that we could probably save ourselves um, maybe like half an hour a week 
automating it all, right? No, let's be generous. Let's say we can save ourselves an hour a week, right? And you might be like, well, it's probably worth saving that time. Even Let's even say, let's even fucking go wild and go an hour a day. We could save ourselves from being automated, right? I think that I've heard more stories of people who've tried to automate stuff and they've missed something than people who manually missed. I don't, I not, I don't miss check-ins like, because I write down the names and I know who I've got to check in with. Whereas what happens a lot of time with automation is people get missed off automations don't work, things don't go through, they don't move across. And often what happens with those things is they happen in bulk a lot of the time. And like, it's often that the clients I hear about who try to automate everything, oh yeah, my, my trolley board messed up and I missed three check-ins. But I've never missed three check-ins. Ever. Literally. Ever. So that hour a day you might be saving could come back to bite on the arse when people go, this service isn't great. This uh, feels like I'm just, feels, feels like I'm another number in a system. That's because they are right? Whereas our clients go, oh, it really feels like you care. It really feels like, you know, you, you're on hand when I need you. Yeah. Because I WhatsApp you manually yeah. going, Hey mate, where's your checking? Usually it's on time. Literally. Not an automated message saying yeah. checking is due in 24 hours. Blah, blah, blah. That's not, that's not how humans speak. Yes. And people know when they get an automated message, we're not stupid. We know when we get an automated messages as humans. And I know when someone's reaching out naturally and organically. And I think for all the coaches that try and save that time through the automation of stuff, it costs them in a lack of human connection, lack of client retention and lack of results. I'm just going to say it. So yeah, he said it. we might get that hour back a day, but I think we'd have a worse business for it in the long run. I think by doing it manually, actually more care, more attention, all those sorts of things that I think actually come around in the long run. Again, nothing tangible, nothing that I can put a number on, just a gut feeling that it leads to better business, better retention, better client relationships, more clients checking in anyway. Than, than it being than if it was automated. I just always have to come down to the fact and go. We never had it. We never done it. So I I know it's easy to say, but you kind of go well. We've never done it or never had that that kind of stuff, and we've got to the position that we're at. We know what we're talking about. Like this is this isn't us again. Just slating something up. It, it's literally, we've we've trialed stuff. We've realised that it's more convoluted than just manually just writing something down on a mm. fucking notepad. Like it, it's like Dan said, it's fixing a problem that, that doesn't need to be solved. Yet I think coach, I certainly get this this gist that I think it's the whole thing that we're talking about. With like, I wish that people kind of just saw what we did on like, yeah. and maybe we should be better at, at showing what we do and. And, and so on and maybe maybe but I, I think I think what it is is like you've got a list of problems coaches have this big list of problems and they write them all down and like the main one you've got is content it's always at the top then they go through the list and it's like website link tree and as you look at it you just look at it and go oh, that's easier fix that that's easy do you know what I mean and I'm like all those other problems you've got aren't problems you're just writing them there because you don't want to fix the main one which is your content sucks which is again we've had this discussion recently it comes back most problems in most businesses 99% of online businesses that we see and we work with most problems can be boiled down to it's come down to the yeah. content calculator. it's come down to the calculator it's the content it's I've never sat there with a client and they've gone oh yeah I'm just not really getting the leads through the door and oh my retention's not great I've never sat there and gone you, you know what the website. problem is it's your website mate yeah it's, it's your website that's the problem. Do you know what it is? It's because you haven't got a Trello board with all this sort of shit on it. You know that's it's the problem. Not. Like, you know yeah, it's not. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And that's the thing I was going to come to is that I think coaches know what the problem is. Yeah. But it's that it's really fucking hard to solve that problem. Yeah. And it takes a lot of work and there's no guaranteed end result. Whereas when you fix your website, you fix your website, it looks better. You, yeah. get the, you get that instant hit of, well, it looks more professional, it looks better, probably SEO optimized. Yeah, no one's Googling your name, mate. So I won't worry about that. I, but then, then they go, then then they come back down to reality and go, yeah, but I've still got to fix my content on there. Yeah, 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 you have. You can do all that if you want, but you've got to fix that. That is the main driver of everything that, that goes on in online biz, in an online business. In, again, in, in our opinion, from what we've seen and what we've done, you don't have to go and look at our website now. Go look at it. Go on, go Google it. Buy us about the UK, and you will see that it might as well not be there. Literally, it may as well not be there. It's old. It's all so old. I think they've still got our old coaches. Our old coaches are on there, all this sort of stuff. Do you know why we haven't updated it? because it doesn't matter in the slightest. All we get through there is people going, hey, Dan, uh, I've seen your website and I really think I could help you optimise your offer. I'm like, I don't need to opt optimise my offer, mate. I've got a waiting list. So, sad. Don't yeah. worry about it. Um, and, and that's what it was come back to. I'm like, we're sat here, right, where we've had a full, fully booked online fitness business with group coaching launch, 14, 15 launches. Sold out every single one, made decent money from doing that. Brought on coaches, helped them build their business. Got our own business now where we've got a waiting list and all this sort of stuff. We don't have a website that we've used to do any of that. 
We just had an email list and a few lead magnets and social media presence for what? Five years. It's that bit, isn't it? It's that bit that's the bit that's the, been the thing. Do we think it's the Instagram page that's been there for five years with a constant message, a YouTube channel, a podcast, all these things? Or do we need to fix our website? Probably, we probably should fix our website, mate. It's kind of like success leaves clues to a certain degree with this. And I kind of sit there and go like, just think about it. Just think about it. Sam C4, has he got a website? Don't think so. You still know who he is. It, I just, I just, it annoys me that again, coaches are falling for it. And I beg coaches that are watching this, probably turned off by now because we've gone on about hard work and, and actually putting effort in, to just, to just ask yourself that question logically. Am I trying to solve a problem that doesn't really exist because it's just a little bit easier for me? You do have a website, instagram.com forward slash yeah, your name. Your name. Like that, that is a website, isn't it? I, I just think it's a good place to put all my transformations. Well, your Instagram is, isn't it? Like, I, I just don't, oh, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Um, that's it. You can, I think I think you can pretty much see how we feel about that stuff. So if you are doing all that stuff, um, you're just prolonging the inevitable because you will only be doing that stuff because you're not happy with where your business is at. That isn't the answer. Like, honestly, honestly, you can do it. You set it all up, whatever. Some of my clients have got automations and Trello boards and CRMs and stuff. And it's like, okay, cool. Like, look, if you've got 200,000 followers and you've got over 100 clients in the business and you feel like it's going to save you a little bit of time, yeah, have at it. Go wild. Yeah. Go wild. Why not? Why not do it? But if you've got 10 to 15 clients... And you want to build a business, just stop fucking around. Again, it's that whole thing. I feel like people feel like we're not as on it with like the um, professional kind of like looking stuff. I get that vibe that it's almost feel like, uh, yeah, but... They're just playing it. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't yeah. look as... It, I don't look as good, does it? Yeah, 500, yeah, 550 yeah, clients, yeah, so... Yeah. yeah, it doesn't matter, does it? Mm. Like, because you're missing the, missing the point. You're missing the complete point of it. Yeah. Anyway, there, there you go. go. Um... Join the members group. We said at the start. If you're still here watching that, you need, join, you need to join it. And oh, you'll notice that the link. You'll notice the link to website to the to the to the members group doesn't go to website. It just goes straight to the app that we yeah, use for it. So it yeah, it's easier, isn't it? That way. Yeah, just do it there. Yeah. Two CTAs. I think we might be selling too much on that. Oh, we're selling too much. Yeah. Just fucking join it, will you? Yeah. Wasting time. 